everyone. Welcome to Mid-Century Wasted. I'm in San Diego meeting up with some friends. Look who I got here. It's Jay Hi. or Harper. You might know her as Harper and Jackson. Oh, look who that is. Oh my God. Spotted in the wild. It's, I'm in the wild. it's a misty. It's a wild misty. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifting. This is Mid-Century Wasted. Welcome to my video. It is, well, I don't know what time it is because I'm backing up and my time went away. I still don't know what time it is because apparently I'm gonna work my car. It's early, it's like 6.40. It's 6.40 a.m. And I'm driving to Starbucks. This is giving me like, I don't know, a year ago vibes where I would go to an estate sale and leave early in the morning. That's the vibes I'm getting right now in this video. How do you like my frosted over side window? I have to actually roll it down. So it is the butt crack of dawn and I am driving down to San Diego. The whales, you know what, if you've seen Anchorman. And I am meeting some friends. We're having a little reseller meetup down there. And I'm super excited about it. But first, coffee. Because it's this early and I haven't had it yet. And I can't drive two hours down to San Diego without some caffeine. Also, I was up very late last night finishing up my shipping from my most recent live sale and whatnot sale. So I had to make sure all of that was done first so that Blake can take it all to the post office today and so that I can relax and have fun. So um, that's the plan. And I don't know how much filming I'm gonna do down there because when I meet up with friends, I tend to not want to film as much. I want to just have fun and enjoy these wonderful humans that I have been so fortunate to be able to meet and become true friends with. I like to focus on that, focus on them. Um, but I'll definitely do some filming. We're gonna do some shopping. Don't know where yet. Um, the plan is to kind of just drive down there and figure it out. So I'm I'm caffeined up now. And I asked for an extra shot of espresso, but I think they put two extra shots in. I asked for a quad. I think I got a quince or a, a cinco. I don't know. I got five shots of espresso in here. So it's gonna be a good day. Yes it is. Let's go. Shot. And Jackson, oh look who that is! Oh my God, spotted in the wild. It's, I'm in the wild. It's a misty. 
It's a wild misty. We're going into this consignment store, which looks like a big old warehouse. Interesting. So we'll take you along and see what they got. My, 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 my. Let's see how much funky couch is. You are super funky, funky couch. $1,300 for funky couch. And $700 for funky love seat. It's a whole funky set. I do like that console back there though. It's nice looking. Here's a little Hager. It says it's 19, but I don't know what those red marks are. So maybe it's cheaper than that. Could be. We found the little knickknack section. So let's dig in here. Here's a box of chocolate covered cherries. No price tag on this cake. Okay. A little Valentine's Day display situation. Toys R Us Kid. Aww. Toys R Us is no more. $99. Oh, this is kind of beat up, <laughs> but these are those little measuring cups. I wish these weren't all messed up. Only ten dollars. That's too bad, though. It's just too chipped for me. I found some cute little fuzzy headed monks. These are five dollars. I think I'm gonna get them. Here's some whales for fifteen. And hey Nikki. Here's some lobsters. I like these little hummingbirds. That's cute. And here's a Prince Albert tin. That's $25. I don't know what they're thinking on that one. This is 19. I do like that it moves. That's pretty fun. Here's some Tom and Jerry mugs. $4. I guess four dollars each. Hey Nikki, I found another lobster for you. Right there. This bottle's kind of cool. It's got the paper label. Echo in Mexico. Guadalajara. It's uh, ten dollars. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my God. Mm. Are you kidding? I walked right past it. Look at you. Oh my God. Look at the price. My. Okay, so I've stopped hyperventilating. This is, this has happened. It says $29. I don't know if that's each or for the whole set, but I'm um, gonna it anyway, so yay me. I think this is like the curated little section here. There's a lot of glass. And look at those, those are fancy schmancy. This is stuff that I just don't even know about. This is a fun piece. This is that Mara pottery. I've sold some of her mugs before. 
I really like the way the glaze is on these, the way it's carved out. Really cool. 45 for that one. I like this display cabinet. That's quite nice. It's lighted. It's got lights in there. It's uh, $15.99. Okay, I have this globe. This is the globe I got at an estate sale. I don't know, maybe over a year ago, maybe two years ago. It's the exact exact one that we have and look at what they want for it I paid $75 for mine yay me that is a big bowl of matches or vessel a big vessel Let's see what kind they got in there Let's see how old they are oh App Applebee's King Stallman's Bail Bonds Okay, nice variety. Embassy Suites. Showboat. There's some fun mid-century serving pieces. Looks like 28 and 20. Not too bad. Hmm. What have we here? If I can squeeze in here. Some mixing bowl. Fitzgerald Magic Made. Alright, let's see the glow. Alright, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a glower. Big time. Very glowy on that one. What the heck? There's a whole case of them over here. There's four of them. Interesting. There's a bunch of Blue Mountain pottery. Various prices. Just rolled out a new cart. There's some fresh merch over here. Viking bowl. That's nice, but 25 and Another one over there for 19. Does anyone want some anatomically incorrect bottles of sand? Sand castration. Oh, oh. My, my. Just taking another pass through here. This is kind of pretty. $25. Would be nice for fall. Oh, look at that. That's fancy. Million coffee mugs. And teacups. The price was for all. It was for all. All of it. All of it. I think I got five, I don't even know, but I think I got five Catherine Holmes bowls for $29. I think that just happened. I need to take them all out and, and I think there was four little ones and one big one, but I think I blacked out, so I don't really know. But <laughs> now we're um, now we're trying to figure out where to eat lunch. So that's it for now. See you later. I'm gonna go pee. Sorry. It's all right. I'm oh, filming the food. I wanted to be able to like- Must film food at all times. Ooh. Ooh, that, that looks really good. At lunch, we met up with the absolutely wonderful Danny, the niche lady. And after lunch, we got some shop done with her and hit up a couple of San Diego Goodwills. Being able to watch Danny shop the Goodwill live in person was really cool, really fun sight to see. So this is the extent of my video. I didn't film anything else on this trip. I wanted to just enjoy myself and shop and laugh and have a great time with them. Also, these ladies are so inspiring and so knowledgeable. I feel like I learned so much just from spending one day shopping with them. And if for some strange reason you're not following one of these ladies, please 
check the description of this video. I have them linked. Jay and Misty and Danny are all in there. You have to be following them on YouTube and Instagram. So check them out if you haven't yet. And also if you haven't subscribed to me here on YouTube, I would really love it if you did. I'm going to be starting to do some live vintage sales on my channel on Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. A couple of those Catherine Holm bowls might be making an appearance, just saying. And I have a lot of new content in the works. A lot of new videos are going to be coming up. A lot of shopping in Palm Springs, California. You're not going to want to miss that. So please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.